Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. I have a small haul from Michael's Crafts. Uh, Hubby and I went to Costco to get his prescription. And then we were thinking of other buses that we could take to get home. And one of them was going to take us to South Keys that has a Michael's Crafts store. So I said, sure, let's go. And I ended up getting a few items. I originally, we originally went to get more of the adhesive tape. And at first I didn't of course know where it was. And then the girl that I asked took me to the aisle and she was looking at this other tape that was like generic. And then I happened to look down and I found it. They had, they did have the box with this tape gun. So instead of going the other weekend all the way to the train yard, I could have gone to South Keys and got it. And they also had the one with the pattern. And that's the one the girl thought I had purchased. And I said, no, I got this one here in the box. So I now have four. And I'm glad I know to go there now. And then I figured with Halloween, oh, I do have orange. Oh, it sometimes pays to look at your ribbons. But I don't have black, I have brown. Anyways, I nearly left the store without looking for the ribbon. And then I remembered and they had the sales, the clearance bins at the front. They had a nice one, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So when the girl took me to the aisle, I found the stuff I wanted for, I think it's 89 cents each. It's a nice thin. The black one that was in the clearance had the end, the sides um, like this, and then the middle was like a see-through. It was pretty, but I put it back. And another thing, and I was quite su kind of surprised. Uh, we went through the stickers, and I was tempted, of course, to pick up some Halloween stickers. But again, the price put me off, so I put the one that I had picked up, I put it back. Then I decided to, oh, well, let's just go see. So I went down. Yeah, see, this part keeps coming up. I went down to the other end of the aisle, and there were some flowers there. And just out of the corner of my eye, I picked up one, and it's one of the ones that I've gotten at the dollar store. The only difference is the stickers I have are a deeper color. The one at, um, at Michael's was looked faded. I got mine for a dollar. Michael's wanted the exact same one for $7.99. And then the same with one that I have of sunflowers. And there's one with the monarch on it. it Identical. I got for a dollar seven ninety nine at Michael's. So the moral is check out your dollar stores, Dollarama, Dollar Tree up here. Down there I believe it's Dollar General, Dollar Family. Check out and Dollar Tree. Check out your dollar stores. Definitely. And then I haven't made any angels in a while. Now they did have this form with the straight, but I decided no, so I went for the one that looks like a little dress. So I package. These were $7.99 for four. They don't carry these in my dollar store or else I would have. The tape was $17.99. And now I've seen Crafting Vicky use these a lot. And I was ecstatic when I seen this. Although hers is full phrases, I found this one. The Jim Holtz. No clue who the heck the man is. But I found it. I grabbed it. This one just has the words. 
all in alphabetical order and they have them in with the white background and then with the black background although I would have loved to have found the one that that Vicki uses with all the different sayings that's fine I was extremely happy to find this and now I know where to go to get it and then another thing it's part of his collection too this guy must be making tons of money and I thought they were so different it's there's a hundred what did it say a hundred and a hundred and seven pieces in here and it, they're all the same like different people but but the same pictures in different sizes like the teeny little one and then there's a medium of course I'm not gonna be able to find that one now but then they're more of a medium size and then you have the larger size I just went through this and some of the little spots there you just have to punch them out but most of them you have doubles or triples this one I think there only one came for me I would have liked that if it was a Canadian flag but it wouldn't be a Canadian the Canadian flag we know actually it wouldn't have been called the Canadian flag it would have been the Union Jack looking at her type of dress back then that's what have been here but I thought this is amazing so I can use some of these on my cards more so the smaller ones the larger ones I'm not sure what I would do with them but um, yeah they have quite a few like I said they have the same ones but just in this there's the three different sizes that'd be cute on a wedding card but there's quite a mixture whoops quite a mixture they're very well done there's only a couple or maybe more than a couple that are that were um, pulled or punched out just slightly off but I think that's okay good now to get these back in here <laughs> so I think there was another box or there was another bag there too but I believe it was all the same or else I likely would have picked it up as well now one of these was ten and one of these was nine dollars now I can't remember which was which I really can't but um, again like I said shock looking at the prices they did have some really nice books of paper for scrapbooking there a hubby picked up one that was all autumn I loved it loved it loved it loved it but as I explained to him when I go to cut it down from my cards the whole pattern is going to be lost unfortunately the absolutely gorgeous fall book for scrapbooking or I guess the journals now I did ask at this location regarding the um, the grab bags that I've been seeing or grab boxes the girl at first did not know what I was talking about and I said well when you have discontinued or when you have items that aren't selling and she said oh yeah we have our clearance bin and I'm thinking she's still not grasping so either she doesn't know about them or they don't do them at that location I should have asked somebody else um, up here we had a store called white rose craft and nursery at our nursery crop anyways and there were times of the year of course for me with my Christmas crafting at that time 
they would give you a huge bag. You could go in, root around in these bins they had, fill up your bag, and I, I can't even remember how much it was, but it was a great savings because like these Michael bags I've been seeing, you could have hundreds, $200 worth of product, and maybe you got it for 10, 15 bucks, possibly back then. I really cannot remember, but that's how I got a lot of my stuff when I lived at home because mother loved going there. But no, this girl didn't seem to know, so I'm going to try and keep an eye out or inquire through email as to whether the stores up here, they must because I'm sure I've seen some Canadian YouTubers that have had the grab bags. So anyways, just thought I'd come in, on in and show you the little haul that I got. Hope you're all enjoying your Saturday. It is warm here. Not as warm as yesterday. But I think we're at about 29 Celsius. Don't know what that is Fahrenheit. It's still warm. So I think I'm going to go relax. Hubby's snoozing right now. i uh, going to relax and maybe do some, some more cards using these something different and of course those maybe these will always go together I'm not sure but I'm looking forward to doing these wands and I thought for Halloween perfect okay so everyone stay safe and until later ciao for now